This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. It's a big day at Alumni Field in Guelph. The U19 Guelph Griffins women's football team playing in their first ever home game in their inaugural season. The team featuring athletes from Kitchener-Waterloo, Cambridge, Guelph and the surrounding area coming together to create the first women's tackle football team in Guelph Griffins history. The Griffs would kick off with the Peel Lady Panthers on Sunday morning. Jumping into the first quarter and it's a great start for the Panthers. Deloney Boschman takes the handoff through the middle and she takes off left. It's a great run from Deloney and she's got the opening touchdown. So it's 6-0, Peel early on. Later in the quarter, the Panthers on second down, but look out for Mara McPhee. She breaks the line and takes down the runner with a great tackle. The Panthers would find a first down and here they are back in scoring position. This time it's Brianna Cardi on the carry. She tunnels through the middle and she breaks free and she's in there for another Panthers touchdown. So it's 12-0. The Griffs with the ball now looking to answer. It's a QB keeper from Katie Wu. She takes off down the far wing and breaks a tackle. It's a great cut inside and Katie's in open field. She keeps flying and she's good for a Guelph Griffins touchdown. So it's 12-7 Peel. The Griffs back to the center line now kicking off and watch the reception from the Panthers. It's a huge return all the way to the end zone and Peel take an 18-7 lead heading to the second quarter. In the second quarter now, and it's more from Katie Wu for the Griffs. She's storming down the far sideline. Katie shoves off a tackle and keeps her feet moving. And Katie's got another! That's her second TD of the morning, and the Griffs pull back within five. The Panthers back with the ball now, looking to keep pace. Deloney Boschman able to find a hole on this run. She's flying down the sideline, and she's got a trailer, but Deloney just won't be caught. So it's 25-13 Peel. Later in the quarter now, the Griffs with the ball. Katie Wu looks to throw. April Ziegler makes the catch. She turns downfield and she's good for a Griffin's first down. The Griffs finding some success throwing the ball and Katie Wu would look downfield again. Francesca Fazzari with the reception. She turns tail and looks to score, but the Panthers take her down at the Peel 10. The Panthers spreading to cover the passes now, but look at the middle. Katie Wu with a wide open lane runs in for the touchdown. So it's 25-20 Peel. Later in the quarter, Panthers ball now looking to score before the half. Ash McLaughlin takes down the runner. Mara McPhee finds the ball. That's a fumble recovery for Mara, and the Griffs steal the ball back. The Griffs offense back in the picture and watch the long bomb from Katie Wu. She connects with Francesca Fazzari. That's a 30-yard reception for Francesca, and the Griffs look to take the lead. The Griffs on the one-yard line here on third down. Katie Wu looks to bring it to the house. Favory Banky with a clutch tackle ends the possession, and we head to the half, 25-20 Peel. On the other side of the half now, and it's the Griffs picking up where they left off. Katie Wu breaks the line once again, and she's just too quick. That's Katie's fourth touchdown of the morning, and the Griffs take a 26-25 lead. The Griffs with their first lead of the game, but here come the Panthers. First, it's a massive run from Nichelle Soman. She breaks away down the far sideline, and Nichelle's good for the go-ahead touchdown. And a few minutes later, it's more from Nichelle. She's got a mere run from before, and just watch the speed from Soman. She's good for another touchdown, and the Panthers take control, now leading 38-26. And Nichelle wasn't done yet. Still in the third quarter, and how about one more massive run? She takes this one down the near sideline, and Nichelle Soman, how about a third touchdown? That's three huge touchdown runs in the third from Nichelle Soman, and the Panthers are out front by 19. The Griffs with the ball now, and it's another good spiral from Katie Wu. She connects with Francesca Fazzari, and Francesca turns down field. Francesca eyes the TD line, but the Panthers take her down inside the five. Head to the fourth quarter now, the Griffs on that same possession. Katie Wu breaks away left, and she's in there for her fifth touchdown of the morning, and the Griffs make it 34. Later in the fourth quarter, now 51-34 Peel, and it's the dynamic duo for Guelph connecting for more. Katie Wu spots out Francesca Fazzari in the middle, and Francesca's got another huge reception. So the Griffs move to scoring position. And here on the Peel 8, it's Katie Wu charging through the middle for the touchdown. So the Griffs make it 51-40. But with one more touchdown run from Brianna Cardi, this one comes to an end. So a fantastic game at Alumni Field from both teams. But in the end, the Peel Lady Panthers come out on top. This one ending with a final score of 57-40. After the game, we spoke with the Griffs on what this historic season means for them. This is our first home game and just like everybody's families and friends coming out to support and just like doing our best and just showing everyone what we have worked for for the past two months has been amazing. It's a really good feeling. When 
you look at like where we started and like today it's absolutely crazy but definitely being like the first Guelph women's tackle team it's so special and it's special to every one of us. Honestly they're great girls um, we have girls from Guelph, Kitchener, Cambridge, Hamilton even and they're all amazing. I have Francesca who's my receiver who's caught a couple of my passes today. I got April and we have Mara, Chloe, we have some girls that weren't here today but we're just so we're getting better every week. We have improved from week one to week now can't get any better than this and we're getting better. I run strong. I have a um, pretty strong for my age and my belt's pretty good so I like to run through people and it works out great. I love the home crowd, love the people and give them a show.